Not only are we going to make a simple website in Flask, but I'll also show you how you can link multiple pages together for a website. Feel free to pause now and pull up an editor so we can code together. Let's do it. To start out, if you haven't installed Flask yet, just use pip install Flask in your command line. If that didn't work, follow the video in the description that goes over how pip works. Now I'm going to paste in a real simple Python server. So all this is doing is we're, we are importing Flask. We are also importing this new render template, fancy. We are then importing random just for a little bit of fun. We're creating a Flask app with our name. Doesn't really matter that much. And we're going to have some messages like subscribe, like comment. Just, you know, if you want to take a second to do any of those, that feel free. And also eat a cookie because who doesn't like to eat cookies? Next, we're going to do app.route for the root. Remember, this is just as, as though you don't actually have anything after your website. Uh, and this is the index. Then we're going to pick up a message from this here, just a random one from this. And then we're going to return a render template, which is basically just this index.html file with a message, which we're providing here. Then if the name is equal to main, which it always is, if you, unless you set it, then we're going to have this app.run. Uh, it's going to execute the, the Flask app, and we're going to set it to be a debug mode. Now, let's look what we have for our index file. We can see that we have this within the same or a, a subdirectory of templates. You can have it in the same directory. It doesn't really matter. So what we have here is basically a title. This, this title, uh, we can get into HTML and stuff like that in a future video if you really want us to. Uh, leave a comment down below if that's something you want us to do. Um, but basically this title is going to be the thing that shows up within the tab. It's the, it's the name of the website. Uh, so this would be like Google or your name if you're on Facebook or whatever, something like that. Next is the body. This just kind of contains the, the main content of the website. So here we have a header of one, which is a big one. And it's going to say the magic eight ball says whatever our message is. Then we're going to have a paragraph that says, why did the programmer quit his job? Because he didn't get a raise. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, oh, maybe it's maybe it's not that funny. But if I think it's pretty funny, uh, if you have a better better joke for about code, then yeah, let me know because that's as good as I can make it. All right, let's test it out. So we're going to go ahead and write or and execute pi server, uh, which is just our server here. Again, we're in our in our correct directory, bam, and we're running. So let's go over here and run this. And as we can see, it says the magic eight ball says comment. Also eat a cookie. Right, if we refresh this, it's refreshing what this says here. So now, subscribe. Just a crazy idea, wow. So what's happening is that once this root is being triggered, we pick a message from our messages array at random, and then we render the template, which is the index.html, and we pass in the message variable, which can be referenced using these two curly braces. So that's all that's happening here. Pretty simple. If we go here, we can see that the title for the, this is subscribe for the tab. And it also says subscribe here. But just as I promised, let's make it so our homepage, which is this incredible thing here. Let's make it linked to another page. Let's say an about page. So let's start off by creating a copy of our index.html. Let's rename this to about. So if we go between these, they say the exact same thing. Let's just make this um, say about a boot. I'm, I am Canadian after all. Um, about Jake. Uh, let's say he's a YouTuber. Totally rad. Uh, Jake A on YouTube. I don't know, something like that, right? This is, this is about, about me. Now, we don't actually have anything that's linking these two pages, right? But we also don't have anything that's actually giving this page, right? This, this is just an, another HTML file. So what we're going to have to do is go in here to our server and create a new uh, method here or function here that is going to do 
uh, the about page. So we're going to do slash about and we don't need a message anymore. And so we can get rid of this and we're going to say about here. So now we're referencing the about.html. So this is awesome. So now we go here and we refresh and it still says eat a cookie, but there's no way to actually get to about, right? Or about page. We could type slash about and there it is, but there's no way to get to it from here if I go back. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to add a simple, what's called an anchor or a, it's a different type of tag in HTML. And we can type href, which is the reference to a new page. And we can just type about.html or actually technically just about. So if we do sl slash about here uh, and then just say about page and we can go ahead and save this and then we can go back to this page our about page and say home page and make it so that this is so this as we can see this this little href is actually matching our server right this guy and on the index to html this is matching this awesome so now if we go back here and we refresh we now have this about page and look at that it's something we can click so let's go ahead and click this Bam, we're on our about page and click back. Bam, we can go click. We can click it as much as we want. Nobody's ever going to get angry with you because it's just on your computer. <laughs> it's not messing anything up. So that's it. It's working great. Hope you enjoyed making a super simple website with me. It's kind of crazy how easy it is, isn't it? Please go ahead and like and subscribe down below and leave a comment about your favorite number because I want to know what it is. Mine's eight because it's like an infinite sign, which is pretty cool. Remember, I'm Jake, you're awesome, and this has been making a simple Python server with Lask. Cheers.